Uh, we were talking about the minimum wage okay. recently. A lot of protests have gone in and seem to say, why are your affiliates not talking? It's only NLC that is talking. <laughs> does that entail the affiliates are not on one page <laughs> with the NLC? Uh, yeah. NLC is made up of affiliates. Yes. And they drive their strength from members. Thank you. So what would you get your input? On Thank you. Uh, the minimum wage issue. I don't expect anybody who is uh, who is knowledgeable in the industry to say that. But you don't expect people not to say that. Yeah. The question is, when the father speaks, what will someone say? Okay. Who makes NLC? So they have the president of NLC, president of NLC mm. and one of the vice president of NLC. Of NLC. We take this one together. Yeah. We go to meetings together. And I've attended four or five meetings with them. I don't know if you're getting mm. it. And ordinarily, who addresses the, the people? This is the president of the Congress. Or is anybody delegates? Mm. So when the president talks of the Congress about a particular issue, I don't have to say anything. Those are workers. And our silence means we consented with what he has said. Agreed. But some of our workers, out of anger, uh, you, you have not spoken, you have not spoken. But, you, but don't forget that if everybody is to be talking or addressing press, you cannot rule out probably sort of sharp differences in what we say. Because the way I will put it, might be different the way you put it, mm -hmm. though we might be saying the same thing. Yeah. The question is, does a union, like I said, negotiate its own minimum wage? No, it has to go through the umbrella. It goes through the umbrella. Yeah. So, all of us, that's why most of times when the president wants to address the press, some of us will stay beside him to show that we are with him. But at the same time, you cannot rule out some exuberance of some workers. Mm. No, 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 no. You are not there. You didn't talk. You know, if not for the majority of the Congress leadership, uh, this is almost tear apart and it's anti using the two of the body. Yeah. Okay, okay. Look at organized private sectors. Look at what they did. The first meeting of the Tabata Committee, mm. they said they already paid 70,000 to their workers. Okay, bring a proposal. They are, they are proposing 57,000 naira. I mean, I don't, I don't get it. You told the house in the meeting where the government was that before now, you're already paying your workers, the least paid worker in the private sector is 70,000. Yeah. Okay, bring a memo. And I see, and I see, reverted back to like 625,000. You are now saying you, yeah, you, 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 can, only, you can only pay 57,000 naira. So are you now bringing down? <laughs> you see, See, some of us at times when some people talk, yeah, maybe they don't they don't remember they have talk, they have spoken. But when you talk to people of when you talk to two, three, four, five people, mm. you're not talking to yourself alone. You have already, already spoken to the public. But those people we share information. To, we share the information. Not that they want to do anything stupid or but just to tell, okay, this is what this is what this is what happened. Because at every meeting, if we are not there, the president will brief all of us. I mean, the president of the Congress will brief all of us. So that when when somebody asks me a question. I should be able to say, this is this and this are what happened. Because all of us cannot be there. Uh. And as of today, you also see that people have accused, people have abused us, uh, we have compromised, we have compromised. For the first time in the history. That's never been done. The national grid was shut down. You know what the president of the country said? He said it's mutiny. <sighs> you know what it takes to shut down the... I know somebody who lost millions of naira for that because he operates, she has a, he, she has a code room. And you know code room. For 24 hours without light, nobody to tell you that you lost a lot. You lost a lot. I mean, and if you want to power the diesel, you want to use diesel, you know what it costs. And you cannot run <laughs> company business like that on generator for 24 hours. Mm. The generator will even break down. Now, now, Comrade President, the issue of this minimum wage yeah. has been laid before the president. Yes. Though a bit of disagreement. Labor saying this. We're saying, to, we're saying to 50? Yes, and uh, the government is also proposing is it 62? Uh, a starvation wage. Uh, let yeah, me not be yeah, on yeah. No, 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 starvation <laughs> wage. No doubt about it. Yeah, so, Based on analysis. So, so uh, uh, Cobra President, this deck before the president. Yeah. If you were in a shoe, what would you prefer as a solution? If I'm in a shoe, even if I don't have to talk like a comrade now, so that yeah. I don't be sentimental. Yeah. I would think I'll be looking at middle line. Between hundred and between hundred thousand and one fifty thousand naira, because it has happened before. The last that the one we are using now, that thousand which, which which has even expired. Yes, it's even illegal. If we are in a country where laws are implemented, uh. 
Do you know that technology is even legal? Because the law guiding somebody, it has expired. It has expired. Someone can take even the government, our employer to court. But let's leave that. If I'm in the shoe of the president, uh, President Mohammed Buhari, you know what they brought before me was 27,000? Eh? Yes. But look at it. And in the next five years, a lot of things might happen because it's in charge of economy. Yeah. It must have seen it all. Mm. So, okay. No, that might be too small. Let's make it 30. But for the first time, we are, we are taking two, the company is taking two different positions. Yes. It's 250 and 62,000. Eh? It will have, I will want to write my name in gold. Not playing to the gallery, yes. but in reality, with the economy of this country, which everybody sees that, okay, let's make it 120 to 150 and see how they can change the revenue formula so that states can have more, more funds to accommodate. I pray that the God will give him the political way to, to do so because it, it requires some political way to do so. Yes, because some people, quarters have also argued that we are directional about the president, president, uh, president, what's the president doing? How about the National Assembly? Don't they have a role to play in this uh, minimum wage issue? You know, to, to bring to bear with what is happening now in the country, you know, matters of inflation and all of that. You see, let me say this. With due respect to the National Assembly, I don't have any belief in them. Because, do you know in this country, we're rotating human beings. <laughs> it's such has shown that 60% mm. of the National Assembly members are either former governors, former deputy governors, former ministers. Who knows better on this? Of course, the president of the Senate invited us with a, a right honorable speaker of that of representative. Mm. Do you, know, do you know what they told us when they first invited us? And that impeached me off. That impeached me off that. These people are just calling us just for formality's sake. Mm. They told us, uh, we're not here to come and negotiate with you. Uh, we don't have the power to negotiate without or do anything. We just want to plead with you. Is that how one of the arms of government should behave? And then they were saying to us, go and call off your strike. I will go and talk to the president. As I thought up to it now, they never called us back. No positive intervention. So I think, I think formally, their own job is just to <laughs> maybe to enact the law, pass it into law for, for Mr. Gov, Mr. President to sign to law. It's a pathetic situation. But what, what would be the most disastrous thing is that is for them to pass the bill the same way they pass the bill of the new national anthem within 24 hours. What would Labour do if they do that? Well, I don't want to speak for the <laughs> President of the Congress because okay, I, don't, I don't have the power, but I know if anything's happened, I have trust and ability and the respect for the, the Congress of the leadership, uh, Congress leadership that they will summon meetings immediately and this will be taken. You know, you know how we do it. Yes, uh, sure. <laughs> uh, uh, come, come on, proceed. Let, before we let you go, let's let's get your view. Uh, some people have the notion that the NCSU has a union. Uh, are made up of uh, comrades of junior cadres. Is that true? It's that was, it's that was, uh, fake coming from our other sisters. So that's fake news? Yes. I am as a director in my office. Uh, do we have a, as a director, can I as a director be a junior officer? That's number one. You see, let me quickly say this. In 1999, mm. no, it's in 1998, during the military, yeah. a decree was made that uh, junior and junior. But that's why I said at times we don't respect law. The National Assembly enacted a law uh -huh. signed by President Daba Sanjo that you can belong to any, to any union of your choice within the same industry. That's true. When I say within the same industry, I cannot, I cannot say I want, to be, I want to go and build a I, I want to go to NUT. Uh -huh. I want to go into now nurses. But within the same industry where you operate. But because of some mischievous people, you say, ah, he's a junior officer, he's a senior officer. What is junior, what is senior, civil service? I'll give you an example. Okay, let me give an example of um, admin officer and executive officer. Yes, please. Do you know if you are appointed executive admin officer level 8 today, mm. and there's somebody executive officer on level 14, that level 8 will be a senior too. That level 14. Mm -hmm. Then where is, where is the seniority? Seniority is just semantic. It's just an idea of somebody. 
Are you getting it? Yeah. So Nigerian civil service, fact. All the state chairman, that's how state chairman in the Federation of NCSU, the least among them is level 12 officer. Wow. Yeah. Okay, you are a member of NCSU. Are you a junior officer? I'm not a junior officer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, President, got me there. But, yeah. So you just exposed me to <laughs> <laughs> Oh, lovely. See, when we say this, but you know, at times, because the system is corrupt, mm. everybody can just go give them money and do this and do that. The question is, can everybody be above the law? The, the, constitution, of Nigeria, the constitution of Nigeria is very simple. It said any, any law, any convention, that is not in, cons in consonance with the law of the federation uh -huh. is null and void. The law democratizing, not the same law, yeah. gave back to TUC. The same law gave back to TUC. That's, that's, why, that's why they were free to go and associate. And associate. You're like, getting it. Uh. The same law gave, gave room to the man say, then Abbasanjo fails, NSC is becoming too oh, big and powerful. Mm. Let me cut them. That's why I said, okay, you can belong to any of your own. Thinking that workers. We not go. We not want to form union because mm. the same law says that you can't not to belong to any union. Yes, those are the three major new uh, entrants into the labor law of that portion. Mm. That you, if you don't want to go belong to any union, but if you don't want to belong to any union, if you are if you are united, who now who we'll speaks for who you? Speaks for you. Number two, number two, that there must be another congress center and another center. Yeah, don't be surprised. Tomorrow, some people can come together. They want to form another center again. Then he said, you cannot belong to the union of, of your choice within the same industry. Like now, I cannot say I want to go to Maritime because it's yeah, not the same not industry. Of the interest. Yeah. But in civil service, there are about five unions. We have SCSU, we have National Association, we have Knox that are the typists, we have um, Opta. Opta, we have a, Opta mainly is more of even Prasatas. Okay. We have uh, other unions. So you have a choice. But you know, some of our members have been babies at the world senior and junior. Mm. The question is, do we have even a civil service level one to level three? Has even, has even been outsourced? The gardener, the messenger, they have been outsourced. Mm. You cannot see any level, even five in the federal ministries. So I say it, I made it boldly clear to everybody that Nigeria civil service is not a union of junior officer. It's a union of officer from level one. In fact, the immediate past head of service of the state yeah. is a member of Nigeria civil service. I know of over 15 permanent secretaries. In fact, just last month, yes. an Abra State government just, just appointed one of my national officers, in fact, precisely the national office, the national vice president Southeast, as permanent secretary. Can they appoint junior officer no, to no, permanent secretary? It's not been done. These are the questions. Well, uh, come, come President, you've boldly clarified that NCSU is not on that pedestal. No, no, well, uh, going forward, come President, uh, we're about to call it a day. Okay. But, uh, before you we leave you or before we let you go okay are you one of the union leaders who share a common perspective that labor is stronger being one than divided very well i am because they are they, they, like you said now but some leaders of uh, sections of labor have uh, argued yes. that we are better together than having separate centers. Yes, thank you very much about this. I'm sorry to say this, with due respect to our sisters union, to the union Congress. Yeah. Since the has been, has been created, labor has never been won, except we to deceive ourselves. At least we have seen things happening. Then another thing is, please, labor has been politicized. Nobody wants to leave. They want to be present for life. Huh. Even a king dies. So the question is, where Labour is having a problem of leadership. Today, okay, for example, the Congress president is a general secretary from his union. Yes. Please. But God has placed him as a president. Mm. We must give him his due regard. I don't know if you are getting me. That's true. We must give him his due regard and I must give him his support. When you say where he has not spent a year, you are looking for a way to destabilize his government, definitely it will affect the populace, the workers, who are even trying to protect. Then, until we remove sentiment, tribalism, religion, we may not get it. Then, at this period of time, NLC and TUC must come together as one. Yes. And I'm happy 
that recently is happening. They, they actually wanted to divide us. That's it's, it's normal for employer to want to divide his mm. employee. It's normal. It's part of part of the strategy. There's no big deal about it. It's, it's normal. But it is the labor that will not allow. I tell you one thing. Despite the outcry, organized labor remain. I read, I read the word remain. The only organization that can tackle the government. And I'm happy that they are feeling the heat. Of course, you look at what happened the last time. That's true. Yeah. The last time that when we shut down the national mm. the government, the, the president has to draft it in the NSC. That's true. The National Advisor, please, this is what you, you have to do something. Or your job, or your job will go. The question is, what has National Security Advisor got to do with minimal <laughs> negotiation? You can see that. I, I, I'm deeply the threat is there. I'm deeply, I'm deeply together. sorry to say this. Mm. With respect to ministers, but I think another thing government should do is you should be putting the right person with relevant history into the right place. I mean, for like for now, there's no way the likes of Ajiba Waba will be Minister of Labor and Productivity that will not see the people. Like. Uh. That's the truth. There's no way the least president of a, of a union yeah. will be a Minister of Labor that will not see the people. Because it's the way you understand you, the issues. Because it's the way you present the issues. Yeah. Before the president, the president is not somebody the minister will see every day. Mm. So the little time you have to see him, you have to marshal your points, present things to him the way to see. Do you know this man what you are talking about? It's very simple. It's very, very simple. The question is the fear of unknown. The fear of unknown and to redistribute the wet of this country. The wet of this country is being put in a place. Okay. In the last one year, they said they have spent over $2 billion. On the refinery, <laughs> must we continue to repair it? Can't somebody just sit down? Can't we start a new one? If I need to do it, yes, like Dan Gucci can set up a refinery. refinery. How come a country cannot? Do you know that even if they have the money, do you know they can partner with other countries? Okay, come and build a refinery for us. We'll, let's do what we call a, a build, operate, and transfer. Uh. We'll build it for us, operate it for 20 years, then it becomes our own. Yes, if we, with that. All you need to provide is just security and the land. You will not spend a, a dime. But because there's no continuity in government, that's why labor will continue to thrive. Yes, it was Ayuba Waba yesterday. Today, it is Ajero. Yeah. Tomorrow, it will be somebody. But that particular ideology will never be deviated from. Well, well, nice in-depth uh, Conrad President. We will come back again. You, Thank you, you have much. better understanding on the issues. We hope to come back again someday to get a better perspective. Thank it has well. been with the Conrad President of the NCSU, Nigeria Civil Service Union, on the voice of the affiliate. And uh, we we'll promise to bring him your way again with much in-depth uh, analysis on the issues. Uh, Comrade President, thank you very much. Thanks for having you.